Well, this is Chicken Big and Chicken Little at Hell's Bar Dam. And, um, fortunately, we indeed cannot go anywhere near the thing to even touch it. Because it's gated off. But, um... Still... I think those are the underground tunnels over there. Over there. I have no idea what it is. But, um... I swear to God, if we, if we look in these windows, we might see something. We might just see one thing in either one of these windows. Wow. 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 Get over here, man. Let me take your picture again. I'll fall in the water if you want me to. Please don't fall in the water. It's so cool. And then it was even twisted out there. You can hear the wind going through the windows. You hear it? That's the wind going through the windows. Or that might be the crying children that they hear. They got something in that window right there. Where? Right there. The Where? first window is on that second row that's cracked up there. One, two, three. The third one. Look at it. Looks like somebody's head. Up there? Yeah, right there. I you don't see, see the it. the eyes? No, I don't see it. Oh, it moved. I don't see it. She said it moved. We have waited years to go to this place or just to even be near it. And we're finally here. Finally at this place of at this place of horror and just Here, I'm a I'm going to get the plaque for a second if anybody wants to read it just Pause the video and read it. I'm going to get the plaque for a second. Hell's Bar Dam was iso was located along the Tennessee River. Wow. Is that how they get the boats in the water? Yeah. And see this dam over here. This dam used to stretch all the way across the Tennessee River until they had like to you walking up there. until they had to shut it down because of malfunctions with the dam granny you can see part of the whirlpool coming out from you can see part of the whirlpool coming out from the sides of the dam yeah about in that square part of the building right there is where a native um, a Cherokee whirlpool sat on this river and they say they say that the Cherokees would see the ghosts of their ancestors swirling around in that whirlpool and they would get pulled in by their ancestors over there is the last part of the dam right over there all of this is what was left Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me video, let me video a little bit longer. Let me. This is just amazing, guys. We've waited for so long to be here, and now finally, finally we're here. So, our family's thinking about making year, um, a trip up to Tennessee each year, as a family vacation, and each year we're thinking about coming up here so each year we're gonna come back here and see if it's opened up and if it is they said that when they finish the wine distillery they're gonna reopen the tours so when they reopen the tours we're coming here. My bottom here no oh you gonna see me on there no oh, okay when they open back up the tours we are coming here and we are going inside and we are gonna catch something we are going to catch something here in, in this dam in this damn damn, we're gonna catch something. 
and it's gonna be amazing. Hold up. They say that part of the marina itself is also haunted because of where it sits. But this place is so old. Sorry, I have a lisp. Um, so old. It was built in like, what, um, do you remember when they said it was built? 19... 1949. Yeah. Look. Okay, it wasn't. It was improved in 1949. It opened in uh, November 1st, 1913. 1913. Until the curse of Chief Dragon Canoe, a Cherokee Indian chief, cursed this land because the white settlers took his land away. He cursed this land to forever destroy what is built on it. Or at least he cursed the river. And now, this is what's left of the dam that once stood all the way across the Tennessee River. No longer operational. No longer working. The souls of the men, the souls of the men that were buried within these walls the souls of the children that were buried in the cemetery underneath this water, the souls of the Cherokee Indians swirling around in the whirlpool still haunt this dam to this day. And to this day, people are getting attacked, people are getting scratched, and sometimes even pushed into the whirlpool by unseen forces. And nobody knows what's in there well people do know what's in there and saying that as if no one's ever come out there are many people that came out alive but um anyways look granny look look we can get down here here we go just be careful whoa i can actually see inside I can actually see inside. I can actually see inside. Inside the dam. There are workers buried within the walls of this dam. To this day, the residual energy in this dam they still believe that they are working on this dam. They still believe that they are constructing this dam. They say that there is an entity where on the balcony, on the terrace, inside that part of the dam over there, over there, he stands on top of the terrace and looks at people as they venture through the dam. What? It's just magnificent, really. The closest we've ever gotten to a haunted place. Credit credit to Sir Spooks and Nukes Top 5. Credit to Sir Spooks and Nukes Top 5. And, um, what's his name? Um, credit to Sir Spooks, Nukes Top 5, Omar Gosh TV, Ghost Adventures on Travel Channel and Discovery, and um, Franco TV. For turning us on to this place. For turning us on to this place. Thank you very much, all of you. Zach Bagans from the Ghost Adventures team, Franco TV, Nukes Top 5, Omar Gosh, Sir Spooks, all of you, you're our idols. Thank you very much for this experience that we're having right now. Even though we cannot go in there, thank you so much for this. And we honestly, we honestly love your channels. We love your TV shows. We love ev we love everything you do. We just we love it all. You're taking a souvenir rock. Yep, I'm taking a souvenir rock. We love everything you do. We love the courage that you have to explore these places. We love the courage that you have to watch these videos of other dumb people exploring these places. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Because 
you guys have actually helped cure my phasmophobia. Because watching your videos helped me realize many things about the paranormal and what happened. So thank you. And God bless all of your souls. And we will see you on the flip side, on the flip side in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay,